Someone told me love was only in the movies. It don't exist in real life these days now. But you showed me if I only just find the faith I need to believe. Anything is possible if you want it bad enough. No, the sky and too high. <coughs> Test your limits. You could feel unstoppable and incredible. Oh, still, I feel ready. So there is his YouTube channel called The Ace Family. Their content revolves around vlogging about their family and showing off how rich they are. You might be thinking, Oh, you're an asshole. They're just an innocent, cute little family trying to vlog and make videos. Well, underneath all those rainbows and unicorn turds lies a dark secret. Actually, there are many dark secrets revolving around the Ace family. So today, I'm going to be talking about why I don't like this family, especially the children. Let me just take this opportunity to say this video has nothing to do with the children. I will not be criticizing nor insulting them in any way. I may be an asshole, but I do have some standards. So if you want to go see a grown man insult children on YouTube, go watch Leafy. Otherwise, fuck off. So without further ado, here are four reasons why I'm just a hater and a jealous little bitch. Alright, let me just establish this right off the bat. This content is clearly not for people like me, which is completely fine, but there's a reason why I included this section in the video. And let me tell you, it's not because of, oh, how dare they not make content that best suit my interests. It's more about how inconsistent their content is. Let me educate you. When the Ace Family used to do prank videos on their channel, they would use the same type of opening that they use now. It gives off that warmful, joyful, everyone is shitting fucking Lucky Charms vibe. It's a perfect little family living in a perfect little utopia. And then we get to the actual content of the video. This actually is like a pain, um, like a pain stimulating shocker. I'm gonna put this on his butt and hopefully we get a good reaction out of him. Oh, 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 oh. Turn it off! Turn it off! Ah, ah. Oh, calm down, you pussy. It's just a prank. Ah. Yeah, the intro is a little bit misleading. You think you're gonna get some fun family vlog, but um, you get some really painful and awkward pranks. Hey, Ace family. Today I'm gonna be waking up my husband, but I'm gonna be pranking him at the same time. Watch more to find out. You know, Prank Invasion's intro was pretty fucking obnoxious, but at least it fits with the content in the video. What's the correlation between a nice little family doing their own thing and some crazy woman electrocuting her husband for goofs and gaffs? Ah! Let me show you guys another intro so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Kids react to YouTube stars! This episode... I'll take great pleasure in slaughtering all of you. But by far the worst correlation of Ace Family videos is the combination of their family-friendly opening and... We're pranking Ryan that we got him a car today. And his dream car. His dream car and... Um, Elle's laughing. Do you want to prank Ryan too? Yeah! So isn't this your dream car right here? Dude, why is there a bow in this car? <laughs> Catherine, this is not happening. <laughs> Get in the car! This is not happening. Get in the car and drive it. Are you serious? Yes, come on. Dead ass, bro. Bro, are you serious? Dead ass. <laughs> You're lying, bro. Dude, I can't accept this. <laughs> You're lying. You know exactly bro. how Austin and no. I are. You know what type of people you know, we are. Bro. You know us, exactly. pretty much. All we want to do so. is help people and be good people. Yeah. That's, that's it. Yeah, so if we see anything <laughs> negative, then obviously you're in the wrong place. Is this crazy? There's nothing negative over here going on. This is crazy. <laughs> This isn't yours. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> That's really the only complaint I have regarding their content. It'd be unfair for me to talk about my personal dislike for the content, even if the video is titled Why I Don't Like the Ace Family. But to me, that'd be unfair to criticize something that isn't meant for my demographic. That's like me complaining about Full House not having enough raunchy jokes for my taste. Obviously, these videos are made for a different age demographic. And yeah, I find it kind of weird that Austin drops the fuck word sometimes, even though his content is directed towards ages 4 to 8. I'm talking month-wise. In the uterus. But the content produced by the Ace Family is the least of this channel's worries. Ah! Buckle up, buddy, because we're about to go in some very juicy territories. Hey, 
Ace Family. If there is one thing I have learned from any of these videos I've watched from the Ace Family, it's that Austin is one deceptive motherfucker. I gotta say though, he really knows how to play people, and I kinda respect it. He knows exactly what he's doing, hiding behind that family-friendly image. This allows his fetus demographic to believe he's actually a nice guy. Allow me to give you an example. So this guy has a YouTube channel called Urban Trademark, and he sells clothes, attire, and all that nice stuff. And one of the things he sells are bandanas. Austin started using this guy's bandanas in his videos, and this led to them collaborating later on. Because the Ace Family fanbase loved the bandanas so much, Austin thought it'd be a good idea to make Ace Family bandana merchandise with Urban Trademark's artistic design. Now, I just gave a summarization of what happened, and I want you guys to hear his side of the story, so I'm gonna let this clip play on for a little bit of him talking about what happened. I will put the video link in the description, if you want to hear the entire video, but I just edited down to some of the main ideas. You know, I, I have the vision and you have the numbers, you have the people. So, you know, for me, instantly, I'm like, okay, this is a no-brainer, makes sense. Another thing was dope is I'm working on a truck that I'm about to drop that um, we can, like, basically do pop-ups where every band that I make exclusively for you, we pop up, we can sell them, and then, you know, it's, it's love, like, you know what I'm saying? Connecting to the people, they already, you already said they fucking with the brand already, so it makes sense. So he's like, yeah, bro, that shit sound hard. To elaborate more on the truck. So I tell him the whole get down about the truck and how I used to have a store, and now I feel like mobile is the new wave. It's popcorn! Look at this! It's beautiful! After that, I, I have a coloring book, and this is what kind of threw me off where I was like, oh, nah, I already feel like this shit might be kind of tricky. He was like, yeah, bro, let's let's go to the car so I can see a couple more bands. I want to buy some from you. I was like, for sure. So we go to the car, and instantly I'm like, I want to give a coloring book for his daughter, because his daughter, I made the coloring book inspired. So yeah, so I'm like, oh, I'm going to give a, intentionally I was just like, I'm going to give a book to his daughter, because I made the book for my daughter. Um, that's what inspired me and I'm like, he has a little one, so I wanna give her a coloring book. This is for your daughter, you know, just give it to her if you can, you know, take a picture. I'm, you know, just trying to promote the book for kids. He was like, um, he was like, dope, that's for sure, I got you. And I was like, do you mind if I get a picture with you with the book? He instantly was like, froze up for a second. He was like, nah, nah, let's just wait, man. I only take professional pictures. So yeah, basically I, I tried to get a picture with him with the book and he didn't want to get a picture. So that was like a red flag and then, I asked um, a couple days later, like, yo, did you get the, did you take the picture with your daughter with the book? And he was making up excuses, like, nah, I want all the pictures to be professional and some other stuff. So instantly I kind of knew, like, it was kind of shaky. And then a couple days later, I seen on YouTube, he had on the band, some bands that looked like my bands for him and his daughter. They was mad thick. They was mad thick. <laughs> they wasn't, I just know my work and I was like, I was like, Lika, come here, look at this. And she like, nah. nah and then, uh, so then I basically, that's what you see from the text. I hit him up, I'm like, bro, what's up with this? And those messages, what we'll put here is basically what inspired, you know, transpired. And um, so then I kind of, you know, I pressed, I let him know what was going on and I posted a little bit about it, but I didn't go hard because me doing this fashion for so long, it's been, you know, that's, people do that, man. People get really influenced and then and rip you off so fast that I'm not the only one that's been done too, I'm pretty sure. But, um, so I kind of like, I took it with a grain of salt, but then when I just seen this truck. Here is the Ace Family merch slash ice cream truck. Woo! I felt some type of way. That's when I was like, oh nah, I gotta, I gotta expose this dude because, you know, and then it's crazy because when I posted about the truck, people was hitting me up, mad DMs, like, you're not the only one he ripped off. So I'm, at this point, I'm like, Shit, I'm just basically, you know, showing the world the situation that happened to me and that happened to others. So essentially, Austin ripped this guy off. I think we can all agree that him just starting to use bandanas now is not a coincidence, nor is mobilizing his merchandise. And Austin knows he can get away with it because his fan base is so fucking young, they don't understand what the hell is happening, so they don't even give a shit. Why don't we read some of these comments from their fetus demographic? So, um, if you're gonna hate on the Ace family, why are you even here? 
All the people saying that they stole the idea, they didn't. They can do whatever they want, whenever they want. They can have an ice cream truck whenever they want. Stop throwing shade. At least they are successful and have 10 million subscribers. Love the Ace Family. Y'all stop hating, it's rude. Please stop. If you're gonna hate, then don't watch the Ace Family. I watch them because I am not a hater. They probably copy because they were inspired. And there's more cancer where that came from. Also, the deceptive and deviant behavior doesn't stop there. So about a year ago, the Ace Family did a Jeep giveaway. For all of your love and your support, we decided to <laughs> give all of you an opportunity to win a Jeep that we purchased. A brand new Jeep! A brand new Jeep! <laughs> wow, that's actually uh, pretty nice of them to do that, to purchase a car for a fan and give them a chance to win a new car. I mean, that's just a very sacrificial and genuine act. Maybe these two aren't as bad as I thought. So what we're gonna do is, on the 15th, on our website, we're gonna pick out seven different designs for you guys to purchase to have a chance to win the giveaway. And they're all gonna be discounted. They're gonna be, you know, um, discounted hats so that everyone gets a fair chance. As you guys know, if you're part of the Ace Family, every video in the description is the website link to where you can find our hats. Because at the end of the day, you guys are just purchasing a hat. Yeah, so you're just, what you're doing is you're just supporting us as a family. You're supporting the Ace family and you're purchasing a hat of your choice. We're giving you seven options. Holy shit, where do I begin? First off, it's not a giveaway if I have to purchase something in order to be entered into the competition. Now it becomes a raffle. But the amount of times you guys say the word giveaway. 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 You probably convinced a lot of dumb children to fall for this bullshit. Second of all, I'm tired of this, oh, we're such nice people, we're so charitable, we're giving you free shit. Uh, yeah, this isn't really a charitable act. You're making way more money selling hats to millions of your fans rather than buying a Jeep. This is a genius idea, but at least be honest about it. Now guys, a Jeep Wrangler typically costs $28 to $40,000, and their cheapest hats in the stores are $17. So they had around a million subscribers around this time, but let's say 10,000 people entered this competition. These people would make $170,000 off of this giveaway. Now, these two did come out and say they will no longer require people to purchase something during this giveaway. They never mentioned anything about a refund, so I'm assuming those people already bought the hat got ripped off. Now, I don't know if they made more money than they did buying the Jeep, but that doesn't really matter. It's all about the attempt. These two are fake. We love helping people and we love helping you guys because you guys... We just want to see a smile on your face. We just want to make a change in someone's life. Ah! Also, calling this whole event a giveaway rather than labeling it as a raffle seems borderline illegal. Now, I'm not even going to touch upon the obviously staged home invasion video. Well, for one, it's been done to death and secondly, it's faker than my breast implants. Something I will bring up though is the charity event. So people pay about $50 for their ticket to watch YouTubers play basketball, including Rice Come. To be honest, I'd pay $50 to not watch Rice Come do anything, but I digress. And before this event started, Austin promised to give $100,000 to charity. Only problem is, at the end of the game, they only gave up $75,000. Now, before I continue, I just want to say $75,000 is a lot of money. And the fact that they were able to donate that amount of money is a good thing. But here's the issue. They promised 100k. Not 75k, 100k. And listen, I don't care if they drop 5,000 off that check, you promised 100k. If you promise to give a certain amount of money to charity, you better fucking cough it up. And I don't want to hear any excuses about, oh, well, maybe they spent so much money on the event, like on security and the building, that's why they couldn't cough up the total amount of 100 g's. Well, if you have a private fucking jet, I think you're able to drop 25k no problem. These people are money grubbers, plain and simple. And listen, I've admitted many times that I'm a money grubber as well, but Austin is just so fucking ridiculous about it, it makes me cringe. And apparently, Austin is such a money grubber that he had a falling out with one of his directors because he wasn't paying him enough money. Yeah, the guy who edits all the videos and created the Ace Family opening is getting paid jack shit because of these greedy assholes. Last one, so this is $150 that you can see. I did pay him the 150 because this is- Hey, this is Fred, back in, what was the date? January is Fred. Same, same, same cash app name. Pay him 150. The Ace family only pays their video guys 150 for the year. October 29th. And this was 2,000. Two bands. Two bands. September. So we already, we already passed one. We way past over the 150 now. God damn. The next one was September 29th, 2017. September 20. Okay. Here's oh another. We paid another thousand for what was that for? Shit. Let me see. Let me show him. There go another thousand we paid him. Okay. Golly. I'm gonna address this just because Austin's talking now. Um, the other payments that he showed you guys, that didn't go just to me. That was 
people behind the scenes that were doing the videography too. And I gave him discounts on my rates just because he was a homie and I was just trying to grow with him, you know. I wasn't focused on the money. But where it got weird was when if you're not gonna just credit me for the video I provide you with, then just pay me my regular rate. So in short, if you want to make fast, easy money, that's completely fine. But don't screw people over while doing so. And that might be rich coming from me because some I consider my rant videos as a way of screwing people over while earning money. Well, at the end of the day, the fans and subscribers of those channels aren't going to change their opinion on the channel they love so much because of my dumbass opinion. And that goes for the Ace family members who are watching this video right now. They're gonna post a comment telling me to go kill myself and then go watch more ass family videos. I know how this process works, I'm not an idiot. How in the living fuck are you going to be a family-friendly channel but collab with people like Rice Gum, someone who constantly makes fun of children and makes rape jokes? But, uh, I mean, I said, or you said something about how you got raped, and, um, yeah. and I just took it as a joke. No, but did it feel good, though? You know, I, I should have been more mature and <sighs> feel bad because, not to just you, though, just to all the rape victims out there, and just, like, it wasn't funny, you know what I mean? And, Did it feel good? That's all I had to say. Rinse over. saw throughout the video why these people are aceholes, but nothing infuriates me more than how these two respond to criticism. I swear, Awesome responds to criticism as poorly as, well, these guys. Why am I still getting hate? So Austin and Catherine get accused for saying racist shit online. So I'm in my car and I'm in the ghetto and I have to walk by those people right there. As a woman, do you know how stressful that is? Personally, I don't think the tweets were that bad. I think Austin was joking, but then again, I'm really into dark humor, so my opinion is pretty fucking irrelevant in this situation. The opinions that do matter, though, are the ones who come from the Ace Family fan base. When a good chunk of people criticize you for something you did, you probably did something wrong. And if your response is LOL, fuck y'all, you've pretty much conceded. Austin McBroom is racist. Um. See, while I don't agree with people criticizing you, I can definitely see why they are. You are a family-friendly image, so if your fans are unhappy with the way you were behaving before this, I suggest you admit to some of their critiques instead of saying, LOL, y'all are just hating. So, uh, that was my little rant on the Ace family. This was probably the longest video I've ever made. If you disagree with me, well, good for you. I hope you graduate preschool soon.